What's going on, guys? Tony here, hanging out with you today from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Um, can you please just type in the chat super quickly and let me know if you guys can hear and see me? Yo, yo, yo. Uh, just want to do a quick audio test and video test. Uh, we're going live Tuesday on Monday today because I'm probably going to be flying out tomorrow to, to uh, another location. But um, let's just get some quick testing Type in the chat um, if you could hear and see me. And also, if you're a Learn Auto Body and Paint member, type in Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP. And um, we could do some quick Q&A for everybody, about 20, 30 minutes, give or take. Also, can you guys comment and let me know if you got my email invitation? Uh, we're using a new email software uh, for sending out email blasts. And I just want to know if you're a VIP, if you got the email, or if you're a regular subscriber, did you get the email that went out like 15 minutes ago, give or take uh, the notification? If you if you did get the email, just type in below, got email. Um, so, you know, I could kind of see what's going on here. And then um, also, if you're a VIP member, type in VIP and where you're tuning in from. So we got some questions here. It's your time. We're gonna we're gonna do some quick auto body Q and A. <clears throat> and um, Marco says, "Hey, I have a question. Can you reduce clear coat to make it flow better through the gun?" Yes, you can. Um, it depends, you know, how thick it is. But normally, you could reduce clear coat up to ten percent um, for it to flow out better. Hey. Uh, yeah, so you could reduce clear coat up to 10% with uh, the reducer, same reducers that you put in your base coat, uh, you can put in your clear coat. Some clear coats are just a four to one, uh, which is clear coat and activator, uh, or a two to one clear coat and hardener, right? Hardener, activator. Some clear coats are like two, one, one, where you put reducer in it as well. And you could just add a little bit more reducer to that if you want to make it thinner. But even if it's a regular clear coat or if it's like a four to one or two to one clear coat and hardener, you could add reducer in it if you want to kind of thin it out a little bit. I wouldn't get carried away with it, but, you know, 10 percent is fine. So if you got 10 ounces, you could put about an ounce, maybe maybe 15 percent, you know, a little bit uh, reducer to reduce it down. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if that helps. Um, um, yep. I answered that question. VIP from way back. Thanks for doing these. They're a tremendous help and inspiration for us. Please keep them coming. Sounds great. Thank you, Ray Richardson. Hope you're doing well. Um, long time no see. I remember seeing you on here before. Uh, again, guys, did you get that email? If you guys can type in down below and let me know if you got the email from us on the YouTube live, that'll be great. Just kind of curious if you got that email because it's super important. I'm using a new email sending uh, platform and um, I want to make sure if it's working, no email. So anyway, um, any other Q and A that we have? I think we answered that. Any auto body? And I noticed Tuesdays are much better for everybody as far as uh, show up rate. We get more people joining us on Tuesdays, Tuesday night rather than a Monday night. Where is everybody located? You guys come and tuning in from where? Type in the chat. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Um, any VIP members on the chat tonight? Type in the chat. Let me know. And uh, guys, this is your time for auto body Q and A. If if uh, there's not many questions here, we're just going to cut it short. I'll drop a couple of links. Um, let's see. So where are we here? Laredo VIP North Carolina. Uh, for all you newbies just tuning in for the first time, if you want to learn about auto body, we're giving away a free guide right here. 
uh, for auto body. I didn't see an email. Okay, well, you guys should be getting an email. If you're subscribed on our newsletter at learnautobodyandpaint.com or if you're a VIP uh, that's opened our emails within the past six months, I also did a scrub on my emails. Um, people who haven't opened our emails in the in the past six to eight months, I actually just deleted them. Like, because if you guys are not going to open my emails, there's no sense in me having you in my uh, newsletter. So we just deleted a bunch of people. So whatever. <clears throat> um, okay, so that's the link down below for the auto body training. Um, if you guys are interested in crypto, I know crypto's kind of like falling apart right now but not all coins not all coins some coins are actually going up so if you guys are interested in crypto you want to learn how to make money with crypto i'm going to drop this link here you can sign up for my crypto waters uh 30 minute video training there charlie says need help with login for my crypto course doesn't recognize my email did you try to do a reset charlie uh maybe when you ordered maybe when you ordered you entered the wrong email. So I'll tell you what, send an email to ninja support at tonybritchie.com. And um, tell them I said to make you a new login. Something must be wrong with your email. So send the support to that, uh, send an email to that support Say ECD login. I'll make sure the girls get you in today in the next couple of hours. Um, yeah, I noticed that. And I replied back to you, Charlie. You you emailed uh, like a few days ago. And I replied back. I'm like, did you try resetting your password? Because on the login page, there's a password, forgot password link where you could reset your password. Ray Richardson said, uh, doing a small paint job. Are reducers, hardeners absolutely necessary for clearing small jobs? Uh, yes, absolutely. If you're using a two-part clear coat, you're going to need to put activator in it or else it won't dry. So yeah, absolutely. Um, at least hardeners. I don't know what paint brand you're using, what mixtures you got there, but um, definitely you have an activator, which is a hardener. Okay. And then some clear coats uh, recommend a reducer you know, 10, 15%, sometimes more. So uh, yes, it's necessary to have hardener activator in your clear coat. All right, Charlie. Charlie, did you ever log in anyway? Did you log in um, after you registered? Because I've been posting a lot of update videos um, in crypto waters alpha and uh we'll have another video out later this week toward the end of the week so yeah cool any other questions guys any other questions so i dropped the uh, uh the crypto waters oh zula is doing a black friday cyber monday sale till the end of the month it's the rest of the month sale nine days left crazy 18 percent discount so if you guys want to check that out if you guys are looking for spray guns check that out um and that's you know it's pretty much it if you guys don't have any other questions we'll just kind of call it off short tonight you know looks like uh looks like my email went out though i really sent this email out to notify everybody I'm not sure why we have such a low show up rate tonight. Let me see. Let me refresh this page because I got the email. I'm wondering if everybody else got it. All right, guys, Tony here from learnautobodyandpaint.com. Still says scheduled, kind of weird. Anyway, um, I might have to open a support ticket. 
let's go back to auto body Q and a, um, need support email again. Thanks. I just posted it up right here, guys, right here. That's a support email, uh, for the crypto waters, Charlie Overton. It's on the screen. Um, let's see. What is a good polish? 3M is good. 3M perfected system is a pretty good polish and, um, glaze. They have some pretty good stuff there. Meguiar's also has some good stuff. There's so many brands out there. I mean, most of them are pretty good. Just try them out. You know, whatever fits your budget, just try it out. But if you want to get something that really works, um, 3M and Meguiar's, those two brands I use a lot for uh, cutting compound and, um, glaze. So if you're going to be doing a, uh, a cutting compound, I would recommend the, the yellow wool pad for buffing. And then, um, uh, with glaze and, and final polish, you want to use the black or dark gray foam pad. And just be careful with polish uh, and the foam pad because foam pads do get hot quicker than the wool pads and you can burn very, very easily. So you got to be careful. Um, and then again, I, guys, I have step-by-step -step videos on um, on buffing and everything A to Z and learn auto body and paint VIP. So check that out if you're not a uh, subscriber of that. Um, again, you can get free training, uh, free auto body training at learnautobodyandpaint.com right over here if you haven't signed up yet. <clears throat> Sam and Supreme Beast had questions. Let's see. Who's that? Did I miss somebody? Oh, Sam says, can I mask over base coat for graphics or clear first? You could mask over base coat. Absolutely. And uh, we show you how to do this step by step in our VIP videos as well. So uh, just get the free training. I just posted the link down below at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Uh, you can get that free training. And then um, we do have other step-by-step -step A to Z courses in VIP if you want to check out VIP, uh, where we cover, you know, multi-tone graphics. Um, you just want to make sure you wait about 45 minutes before you start masking. 45 minutes to two hours, give or take in that area, you can start masking. You know, after 45 minutes, it should be dry to the touch where you can mask. So, but if you could wait an hour, hour and a half, that's fine. As long as you put clear on within a day, you should be good. What's going on, Jeremy? Hope all is well. What's up? What's up? Um, who else had a question? Supreme Beast. Okay, here we go. I got a job application for body and paint helper and just want to know what they do. Uh, what do you mean you got a job application? You applied for a body and paint helper and you don't know you don't know what the job is? <laughs> Why don't you ask them? <laughs> but I mean, if it's a helper, then you're basically going to be helping the guy out. Maybe masking, sanding, washing, cleaning, tacking down, getting the job ready. I don't know. It probably depends on that shop. You know, every, every shop is has a different, uh, protocol. You know, I don't know. I don't know, bro. If it's an auto body paint helper, I don't know. Ask the guy who's going to train you. Okay. Let's see. Any auto body Q and a guys, if not, We'll just kind of like wind down and call it a night. I hope everyone's doing well. Good to see you here. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna post these links one last shot right over here for free auto body training. Seems like Tuesdays or Wednesdays are much better. And if you guys are watching the replay on here, let me know if you guys got that email invitation uh, to join this chat tonight.
Okay, I guess everybody's taken care of. I guess I guess we don't have too many Q and A today, so I'm gonna head out, guys. If you if we're done, we're gonna head out. Call it a short one today at 15 minutes. I know Tuesdays, Wednesdays get a lot more people in here. Maybe uh, Mondays are just too everyone's too busy. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. What is up, my buddy? Says. Chem isn't a real candy. What's your feeling? Um, I mean, it's it's sort of like a candy, right? Um, I only use House of Color candies. So if I use candies, well, there were a couple other brands. Well, one other brand. What brand was it that I was using? I think I got it off eBay. And it worked pretty good, actually. And I and I don't use... Um, uh, candy carrier i basically just use clear coat and then i put my candy in it in there and use my clear coat as a carrier so you can use your clear coat as a carrier for pearls um, flakes candy just make sure you don't run it you know what i mean uh, because if you run it then you're going to end up with a, a candy run which sucks that'll happen if you're if you're using a carrier or not if you're just doing straight candy um so yeah All right, guys, I'm going to head out. Thanks for tuning in. Little uh, slow, slow night tonight. Not too much uh, people in here, so it's all good. But um, there's the free training down below for, for Learn Auto Body. I'm going to post a link again for Zula. Uh, they're doing a end of month Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale uh, up to 18%. Well, it is 18% off. 18% off everything over a hundred bucks, which is huge, huge, huge. Um, and if you guys are interested in learning how to make money with cryptocurrency, check out my crypto waters page here. Uh, and guys, yes, everybody have a th happy Thanksgiving. We actually cooked some turkey the other day um, because I might be, I'm pretty much might be leaving tomorrow uh, to fly somewhere. But um, so we had an early Thanksgiving. It's still in the air. I might not even go, but we'll see what happens uh, tonight. Um, let's see. VIP in the house. Hope all is well. Too cold here, Ohio. So we'll study and learn from your YouTube videos this winter. Awesome, 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 guys. All right, guys. I want to say thank you for tuning in. Have a great week. And... Um, Maybe I'll be streaming from a different location next week if I end up going tomorrow. So have a good weekend. Have a good week. And um, I will. Hey, Lou, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, are there instructions for that light to come with uh, the gun in Zula? It's pretty self-explanatory. If you search YouTube, GunBud YouTube, how to use GunBud on YouTube, you'll find like some videos of me or some other people setting it up. Super easy. Uh, what I like to do is just put a piece of saran wrap over the head bulb. Uh, to avoid overspray, but I've sprayed with that thing without saran wrap covering many times. You get some overspray on it, but it's not a it's not a uh, a killer. It's not a kill deal. You know what I mean? It's not gonna kill it. Uh, Lou, thanks for tuning in, brother. Hope all is well. Happy Thanksgiving to you and the family as well. And um, yes, guys, gobble gobble. Have a great weekend. Have a great night, and I'll see you next week. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday um, because we got more people showing up on those nights uh, rather than Mondays. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. We get like triple the amount of people on Tuesdays. <clears throat> anyway, peace out, guys. Have a great evening. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again. Peace. Laters.